Derek here with Jcon Systems. Today we're going to take a look at a batteryless, rechargeable flashlight. It also goes on your keychain. This is the finished kit. After it's all assembled, the super capacitor, you have the button, the LED, the two resistors, and the USB connector. Push the button and the LED turns on. This is what it looks like all assembled. So let's go ahead and get into it and uh, start assembling it. You should have seven different items with the kit, including the PCB. This is the back side of the PCB. You see the logo and the top side. You can see all of the silk screen. The first item is the mini USB connector. Locate the mini USB connector and insert it into the corresponding holes. Make sure to put the top side on the top and the bottom on the bottom. If you don't, it might not look proper. With your soldering iron and your solder, make sure you clean your soldering iron. You want a clean tip. And simply place the solder paste right over the pin and apply heat to both the pin and the circuit board with the soldering iron. And repeat until all pins are completed. Again, I want to make sure that you're touching the soldering iron to the pin and also the solder at the same time. You must have heat on all of the connectors. These five connectors here are really difficult, so take your time. If they get jumped together, don't worry, you can always remove the solder and start over. Next, we're going to locate the resistors. You want to bend the resistors so they can easily slide into the circuit board. Make sure to locate the 10 ohm and the 100 ohm. And don't mix them up, follow the directions. We're going to take the first resistor and just bend it. It's very easy to bend. Notice the colors on the resistors. You're going to want to locate the color chart that I provided in the instructions. So instruction number two will have the 10 ohm colors for the 10 ohm resistor. And simply insert the pins into the holes. On the back side, make sure to spread out the pins so the resistor does not slide out. Go ahead and solder the leads. Take your time, you're not in a rush. Make sure not to put too much solder on the leads. Locate your 100 ohm resistor and insert it into the holes for the 100 ohm resistor. It doesn't matter, it's not directional. So that means that you can put it in either direction. Next, we're going to solder the button. Go ahead and locate the button and insert the button into the four holes. Apply some pressure. Make sure not to bend the pins.
apply solder on all four pins. Next, you're going to locate the supercapacitor. Take note on the instructions, the supercapacitor is directional. That means you need to make sure that the supercapacitor is placed in the proper direction on the circuit board. Locate the plus side of the PCB and the black side of the supercapacitor. The white side of the supercapacitor is negative. Make sure to apply enough heat to the PCB and the resistor leads. You will need to make sure that enough solder gets into the hole and connects the lead to the PCB. Otherwise, it could be a cold solder joint. Take note, you need to put enough in there because if you don't put enough solder paste, then there will be space and you don't want to see a space or a gap in the hole. If necessary, apply more solder. Next, we're going to locate the LED. It is directional. Make sure you put the plus side with the plus and the negative side with the negative. The long pin is the positive, the short pin is the negative. The circuit board is marked. Insert the pins and bend the LED. Make sure to bend the pins so the LED does not slide out. Apply solder to the leads. And we notice all the leads are kind of goofy. It looks like a little animal trying to walk. Let's go ahead and locate our cutting tool and we're going to carefully remove all of these extra leads. Make sure to cover, cover your eyes and cover the PCB so that no leads fly into your eyes. Use caution. Now that we've cut the leads, we're nearly finished. We can locate our cable and power source. And plug it in to charge. It only takes a few seconds for the capacitor to take a charge. That's it guys. It's charged and ready to go on your keychain. You're ready to go around town sporting your new device. Thanks and we'll see you soon.